Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video, and it's pretty late. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, or almost, may as well be. It's pretty late for me, I should be in bed, but I decided to make a tutorial instead. That rhymes. Okay, so before I start entertaining you with my tech talk and Sony Vegas wisdom and stuff, I decided to tell you guys about Google Moderator, which is a new feature, and it's on my channel. I encourage everyone to use it. Um, It's a way that you can get or it's a way that I can get feedback from you guys and that's really great so uh, you can submit your feedback and I'll check it out and that's always good so yeah it's on my channel just type up your stuff and I'll read it alright so let's get started today we're gonna be making watermarks with both Photoshop and Sony Vegas it's like the best of both worlds I know um, mainly gonna be using Vegas or actually it's pretty even doesn't it's not the hardest thing to do either okay so here we are in Photoshop let's go to file open got a logo here pretty awesome I know um, this picture is actually already transparent it's let's just assume that this is a white background what you need to do is select your logo so just grab your magic wand tool over here and click on your logo and it's as simple as that you have selected your logo then if you have CS3 or later uh, you can go up here to refine edge and play around with the settings radius contrast smooth feather contract and expand Feather will blur the edges, radius is how much you select, and then contract and expand is kind of like radius, um, it doesn't matter, you just play around with these, usually I just feather it a lot, well not a lot, but usually I only screw around with the feather and just hit OK, and yeah, so once you're done refining the edge of your logo, right click and hit select inverse and hit the delete key, and then boom, your picture's transparent, of course, mine's already transparent, and then you would just save this by hitting control S, and yeah so that's it for Photoshop I know that was really quick I'm not gonna save let's go to Sony Vegas and oh my god I switched the thing usually the timelines on the bottom and this is on top but I decided to mix it up for this one video um, if you wanna learn how to do this by the way just go to options preferences display then have this middle thing checked or unchecked see you can have it like that which is how I usually have it or like that so I'm just gonna try it like this for the video Anyways, let's import our footage. Go here, go here, go here. Open. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to drag these flowers in because they're beautiful. And okay. Again, die audio. I hate audio. If you guys watch all my videos, you know how much I have a dreaded hate for audio. Okay, now we're going to import our picture. Same thing, just file import. And here it is in the project media bucket and just drag it make sure when then you drag this in you put it on top otherwise it won't work so yeah make sure that this goes on top the pictures go on top and now what we need to do is go to event pan slash crop and first of all look if you look in the preview let me just squeeze this okay look in the preview bin if I move this over it's like gonna go over here and then just whoa it gets pushed behind this invisible wall of doom um, if that happens what there's probably a ton of solutions but I was too lazy to find them so what I discovered is go up here to the preset and change it to one of these this one works a lot academy aspect ratio and then you can make it really really big and for some reason if you make the box bigger it makes the logo smaller because Sony Vegas is so crazy okay so I'm just not gonna make it too small so just make it a nice size and put it in the bottom right corner or whatever corner you want I'll actually make it a bit smaller All right. So there we go, I've positioned my logo. Hopefully everyone here knows what my logo is, because it's sexy. Okay, so I've positioned everything. Now all you need to do is lower the opacity of your logo, and then you got a watermark, or at least a basic one. Uh, to lower the opacity, just put your mouse on top of the picture, and then you'll see this little finger that's clicking on this imaginary line with a little horse vertical line thing. You see this? Opacity is 100%. Click and lower it to let's do 81 percent because 81 percent is a prime number I think okay but that's basically it that's how you make a watermark in Sony Vegas slash Photoshop so if you enjoyed this tutorial like the video subscribe to my channel favorite the video comments on the video do everything you can do to make me famous sorry it's a little late okay anyways thanks for watching my tutorial and stay tuned for next week when I make this random tutorial that I haven't thought of yet
Thanks for watching. See ya.